Hello everyone! If you have multiple branches of your business and you would like to see the results of operations for each branch or you would like to know the results of operations for each department in your company using only one QuickBooks file, then QuickBooks is the best accounting software for you. QuickBooks has this feature called class tracking, which tracks the income and expenses for each branch, department, or subsidiary of your business. So let's first activate the class tracking in QuickBooks. We go to Edit, Preferences, and then the first one, which is Accounting, Company Preferences, and then we will check the box for Use Class Tracking for Transactions. Class is the term that QuickBooks use for branches, departments, or subsidiaries, or any line of business that you would like to track within QuickBooks. I will click OK. OK, next is we're going to identify your branches or your classes. We go to list and then class list. This is where we're going to add your branches or your classes. I will click class and then new or the shortcut is control N. So the first branch is Ayala branch. Second is SM branch. And the last one is Istamal branch. I will click OK. Right, so these are our branches. And let's go back to the home page. And I will create a sales transaction using uh, the create invoice icon. I will put in the customer name. And this is where we're going to put the class. So the first one is for the Ayala branch. This is the date, invoice number, and we will leave the other information optional. Quantity is 10. Then item code, 500 each. It's vatable. I will click Save and New. I will keep the number. And yes, I will click Yes. Okay, next is this one. And the class is SM, quantity is 600. Item code 500 each, but exempt, save and new, keep the number. Okay, next class is Vista Mall. Okay, so we will record three sales transactions for the three classes or branches. I will click Save and Close. Keep the number. We can also record sales transactions using the Create Sales Receipts. And then, and you can also assign classes or branches here. All right, I will click Save and Close. Okay, next is we're going to record some expenses for each branch. So I will use the right checks icon. Let's record gasoline expense for each branch in one transaction. So fuel and oil. So 500 for is the class column, 500 for the Ayala branch. And then fuel and oil. Uh, 600 for the Vista Mall branch, and then another fuel and oil, 700 for the SM branch, okay, there. I will click Save and Close. And aside from the right checks icon, we can also assign classes here in the Enter Bills icon. So if you purchase goods or services on account, here's the column for the class, all right? And we can also assign classes using the journal entries. So we go to company and then make general journal entries. So let's create an expense transaction for ads and promos of 800. And then the class is the Ayala branch coming from the Banco de Oro account. Ayala branch. All right, I will click save and close. Let's go to our profit and loss by class reports. I'll go to reports, 
company and financial and then this is our profit and loss by class okay so there so this is our income for the ayala branch five five thousand and then three hundred thousand for the sm branch four hundred ninety thousand for the vista mall branch and these are the expenses so cost of goods sold and then the other expenses here so this is our net income for the ayala branch net income for the sm branch and net income for the Vista Mall branch. And what's good about this profit and loss by class report is we have the unclassified column. This unclassified column is for those transactions that we didn't assign a class. It will be easy for us to audit or to assign classes to those transactions that we've missed because we can simply double click the amount. These are the transactions that doesn't have a class. Double click on the transaction and then assign a class, SM, and then also here, save and close. And then we go back to the unclassified report again, double click the transaction, and then assign a class, Ayala, Ayala, save and close. So just double click all of this until all the transactions are classified. I will click cancel for now. All right, so there. That's how we track income and expense and then the results of operations for each branch, department, or subsidiary of your business. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.